we have got an entire selection of freedom right here. America. That's good right there. It's just at a Texas gas station too. day on the water. Didn't get to spend a ton of time now. We had a slight malfunction and it was because I'm an idiot. So what happened, let me see here if I can get a light going. So this exhaust coupler melted completely apart. Line right here. That's the steam port that comes off the head on the LS and it sprays water into the exhaust right through this hole. Right here, I've got it drilled in there and I got heat wrap on this just because it keeps the hole cooler. There we go, come on now. And the fitting I had on there, I just, when I put this together, I just grabbed the fitting. I went through and grabbed the fitting, whoops, out of the box of stuff I have. And that is one that I've actually soldered up and put a 28,000 orifice in for a turbo feed. So, self-induced failure. Gotta love those. Well, crisis averted. O'Reilly has bailed us out again. And I tell you, there's something that it's hard to get, hard to come by. And there it is. Yeah. Exhaust coupler hose, they had 10 foot of it in Sulphur Springs, not far from the lake. That's hard to find. And there it is. Thanks, O'Reilly. We got us run down to O'Reilly. Got a couple of fittings. Got some new exhaust pipe. Coupler piece. Put it together. Day two, headed out. Gonna hit the water. Another shakedown, make sure we're all good. Got my self-induced failure fixed. New fitting for the water in the exhaust. Right there. And, I don't know if y'all can see that, but the exhaust coupler is all taken care of. But yeah, that's all new. Full flow. She's already dirty. It doesn't take it long. It's still shiny. Hopefully all goes well. I really don't want to mess with any tuning on it this trip. So we'll let it eat and see what happens. Better scoot on in there. We're gonna have a, a, a some good footage. Yeah. <laughs> Dumping her off. We're done. All right.
too. been successful so far we've had a good time we had that one issue and it was again self-induced my stupidity for not paying attention and now we've been ripping on the water tops out at 60 then cavitates the jet so we gotta either get a new impeller or something like that or something to help force some air into it oh so, 60 is probably fast enough. I just don't like the fact that it cavitates the jet. It feels like the boat's going to explode when it happens. Violent shakes, all kinds of things. But other than that, I'm happy. I tell you, super happy with it. It runs good. It's driving good. We got one flat spot just above, probably, probably at about the 1500 RPM spot. It just stumbles and spits. But it, it's still, it's running so much better than it has in quite a while plus no issues love it and there we go no complaints only bad part about ripping around on the water is it gets dirty it's the only thing i own that's really pretty 
all my other stuff is meh still it's worth it about to rip around on the tube with Zach yeah we're gonna have a good time mom in tow again we're about to have Zachy in serious tow We're staying at a state park and it's nighttime and this is something pretty stinking cool maybe we can get this on camera just shining my flashlight in the air and there's so many gnats they start to swarm when you turn the light on that's unreal Leave your light off, or you get a mouthful. Do I name this boat? Zach said we need a name for it. Mm -hmm. Help me name it. She's a beautiful one. 